Do you remember? Marriage from the dawn of time is one thing that fully and legally bounds you to someone and in no way should you ever tamper with it. Except you're a Nigerian man. That's like the cheat code to marriage. You know I don't like you. You see, when I was younger, I was taught that one day I would find a woman that would be for me and I would spend the rest of my life with her. And over the years, I've seen multiple chances to get married to someone. But every time I get to that point, my brothers in the sky shout, No bro, no bro, don't, don't do that, don't do that. So with this hunger for finding a reason to marry, I stumbled on this movie on the Airtel TV app called Things I Hate About You. It's a story about a married couple, Beatrice and James, that are in the blink of breaking up. Yes, I said blink. Blink first, go on, blink, you see, pow. Oh, they broke up. You cost it. But on a plane sheet, both of them should not be married. I mean, they fight constantly and anyone that sees them fighting could say the same thing. Because they don't have the time to poke nose like her sister. Very busy buddy, mother. Did you hear her? There she goes again. You just insult my family! Did you just refer to my sister as a pack no sir? Look, bitches, I will take this from you! Yeah, I will take it from you later! Please tell me, sister, come! But to save their marriage, they both meet a relationship guru to indirectly help them out. And when I say indirectly, Beatrice came to see this lady called Aisha, and in Beatrice's mind, she thought it was a job interview. But now, nah, your sister tricked you. She's a marriage counselor. You were tricked. Is it ethical? Maybe not. But who cares? The good thing about the counselor is she's able to make them look into their past to find where all the hatred stems from. Because these two can't seem to do without fighting. But it was never like this. They started off loving each other and planning for their future like any newly wedded couple. Then their life turns upside down when, wait for it, wait for it, they hired a maid, Agnes. And this maid is the worst. She's just the worst. She's everything you don't want in a maid. She overuses her makeup. She speaks English for aliens. I like to express in my, in my feelings. I mean, they talk the story. Now you, they cry the cry. I'll be something enter your eyes. Okay, back to the couples. So our master, Aisha, brings up this plan where they talk about the things each party does that the other party hates. I hope that was English. He wants a wife that can cook. She said, but what of Agnes? She can cook. He proceeded to do this. Huh. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be like that for now then. He thinks she's living a fake life as she always feels the need to make a video about everything going on in their personal life. Instead of her being original, she has turned into this fake person that only cares about the attention she has gotten from followers. And after hearing everything he had to say about it, she continued snapchatting. <laughs> My guy here was just talking bobo. For Beatrice, it wouldn't be an African movie if she did not suspect him for cheating. Because that's the number one thing every African man does well. Cheating. She feels he's cheating with a lady that he works with called Grace. And at first I was like, it's just in your mind. She's just his colleague. Then he introduced her like this. She's tall. She's curvy. She speaks fluently. She, she has a pointed nose and uh, she has a good laugh. She's a very friendly person. She's someone who knows how to make you laugh, how to... That guy is cheating. I will cheat on you if that Grace girl really exists. Then he got nasty. He said she doesn't want to have sex. She said, nah, you're not going to win this. Then she now hit him with this trump card saying, all you care about is sex. She won at that point. And I just love how happy Aisha was because you know this is her job breaking family a lot happened but that would be me spoiling it for you and you actually have to see the ending because it's intriguing it's intriguing <laughs> they had a lot of good with this movie the back and forth in terms of storytelling was nice to see it made the characters more believable when you could see what actually happened so that was good the banter between james and beatrice seemed so organic you would think they hated each other in real life and the most important thing is the intro it starts off with them using their instagram handle are not their names. <laughs> this is like the director's telling us that follow them, you don't care about their son name. So just follow them on Instagram. Now the bad part. First off, the story. This is in no way a unique story because we have seen this story told in different ways. So don't expect any groundbreaking storyline. The audio in some places dipped and that was not bad because at this point I'm used to hearing bad audio. And most importantly, the worst thing about this movie was this babe's makeup artist 
Who did this? You know what? I need to give the makeup artist the Ethel TV app. How? Hold on, bro. How? How you? I'm saying, how? Like, talk to me, bro. You the police? Is you the FBI? CIA? What's your? So download the app in the description and also the first comment in the comment section. Thank you, Ethel, for sponsoring this hungry YouTuber. And guys, um, bye. <laughs>